I thought about trying to destroy my contract or unbind my soul from it, but my research indicated that only the person who owned my debt could do that. As long as it was in my possession, though, the devil couldn't use it to retrieve my soul. I don't feel like he fulfilled his end of the deal, so I wasn't about to give my soul over without a fight. I was able to discourage most of his agents. I was actually about to leave the islands for good when you found me. I'd only gone back to the observatory to pick up some of my things, but I hadn't slept in days, anticipating someone would show up for my contract. You can see the future. What happens to us? You're going to turn me in. What makes you think I'd help you? We hear you. We're sorry that no one ever took you seriously. I mean, we know what it's like. Look at us. No one ever takes us seriously. You didn't. I guess that's why we got hooked into the casino in the first place. They made us feel big. It's not just the three of us that fell for this either. Our list is pretty long. We'll listen to you. We'll take your advice if you give it. We know it could be dangerous. You could just as easily try and get us killed. But if it sounds like you're willing to help us, we'll listen. <sighs> he isn't just going to let you go, you know. He said he'd spare us. Is that exactly what he said? Think hard about that one. He's a master of doublespeak. He could have easily meant your lives, not your souls. Don't make my mistake. And don't trust anyone that has anything to do with him, including anyone you think is your friend. Cagney. Great work, boys. It's clear skies and smooth sailing from here on. So much for keeping a low profile. Sorry about the planes. Ah. Those were just first editions anyway. You didn't think I'd give rookies the top class stuff, did ya? Come see me if you need to get up in the air again. She alive? Hmm, shame what happened. I used to get daily weather reports from her. Morning, bird face. Ha! I'm more of a bird than you, Wingless Wonder. She was an odd duck for sure. Wouldn't have ever called her sweet, but personable. Never would have guessed she'd sell her soul, though I did notice she was off lately. You were friends with her? And you helped us take her down? Listen here, Blue. Doing the right thing ain't always the easiest thing. Though it's a far easier call when your so-called friend tries to crush you with star magic. It's alright. It's been a while since I've gotten into a scrap like this. Reminds me of the old days. Cheers! Cheers. Hey, Mug. Sorry I lost my head up in the air. You didn't have to take that hit from me. You could have really gotten hurt. <sighs> We're not going to make it out of this without a few chips. We don't even need Hilda to see that. Doesn't help that I keep freezing up either. Ron's not going to be there to help us for every fight. We both got stuff to work on. How many times do I got to say it? We're in this together no matter what. <laughs> I don't deserve a brother like you. Nah, you really don't. Hey! Victory! Dr. Cald Robot. Robots don't have souls, do they? I don't know. Well, there aren't many robots around. At least to be just fine. Where is this thing? I don't get it! Is some kind of riddle? Am I just trying to mess with our heads? I got the feeling that the people we asked might have known where it is, but didn't want to tell us. They did seem pretty nervous. That can't be good for us. Say, Cuphead. Didn't Hildeberg say she knew a Dr. Call? I don't remember. Did she? I'm sure she did. She might know where to find him. Let's go! You always remember these things, right? But will she help us again? Well, at this point, it couldn't hurt to ask. Didn't I tell you two brats not to trust anyone that has anything to do with the devil? That includes me, you know. Yeah, well, you were wrong about part of that. Was I? So what? You come to take it out on me or something? Maybe. Cuphead. You really did help us out. We were hoping you had more advice for us. We're sort of stuck. Ron said you were having trouble getting back on your feet, so we brought you this. You're sweet when you're not on a murderous rampage. Hey, you should talk, lady. I guess we both should be happy I don't remember most of our little scuffle. Oh, things were said, missiles were launched, places were destroyed. Nothing personal, just business. Let's let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Too bad we're all headed for eternal servitude with the devil. But since we're spending eternity together, we might as well be friends, right? Uh, that's the spirit. Looks like you're still trying to get out of it, though. Sir Kettle brought these for me. I can't rely on my true sight right now. Doc said not to channel magic. 
Sir Kettle said he's seen what happened to me before. Being forced that far past my channeling capacity could have killed me, which was probably part of the devil's plan. Oops, I lived. Ha! Anyway, true sights caused me too much trouble. I've made a lot of mistakes with my mind, but it's still my greatest asset. Why did Elder Kettle come to see you? Truth be told, I'm not sure why anyone came to see me. Not with the way I've been lately. I've had visitors all day checking in on me. Some of them I barely even knew before this. The people of this island are pretty special. Ron is really worried about you. Um, yes. I could tell. So why are you planning to pay for that roof? Well, Ron, when my contract is turned in and my soul is gruesomely ripped from my body, just sell all my things. That'll do. Oh, rusty old tin can! Speaking of, it appears that I'm still living. You haven't turned in my contract yet, have you? Slacking off, are we? Or did you change your mind? We need to find Dr. Cal. Uh, what on earth makes you think I'd just sell out one of my friends? It's not him on the list. But we don't get what happened. What is it supposed to mean? Robots are our souls, right? Miss Berg, are you alright? What is it? You couldn't have. It's not possible. One of Carl's greatest ambitions was to create an artificial soul. That sounds impossible. He's beyond brilliant. I didn't even realize how advanced he was until I sold my soul. But he has far less of a conscience than most people I know as well. I'm not surprised you couldn't find him. People are afraid of him, and for good cause. Listen, if I tell you where he is, he can't know that you got your information from me. Carl is an exceedingly dangerous man to have as an enemy. You two are in real trouble if he doesn't want to give up that contract. <laughs> there you go, counting's out before the fight starts again. You're thinking this robot has a soul Carl created and sold to the devil for something? Having a spare soul to trade lowers the stakes quite a bit, wouldn't you say? But none of that makes sense! Why would he even have to attach the soul to something like a robot? And why would he have backed out the deal with just a spare soul? I don't know. You'll have to find that out yourselves. He has a laboratory by the junkyard on the west side of Isle 3. Also, if it's the robot I think it is, you'd better find another set of airplanes just in case. Hmm... You should be inside resting. Huh? Oh. Too nice of a night, Sir Kettle. I never waste a clear sky. No need for formalities, my dear. How are you feeling? The healing potions mostly worked. They just can't do anything for the exhaustion from magical expenditure. Indeed. Sleep is the only cure for that. I've slept enough. This could be my last night as a free woman. I might never see the stars again. Shh. They're there. It's all right. Everything will work out. They ask me to read their future. I know what they're planning, and I know they will fail. I think you're underestimating them again. I didn't realize you were an oracle yourself. I can't see any other reason why you'd see me this upset about what I see in the future and still be such an optimist. I have faith in them. My boys, I raised them, after all. Aside from that, if you felt things were the bleak for you, you could have your power to leverage your freedom. I don't believe you have. Does that mean you think they have a chance in succeeding? <laughs> Let's get something straight here. I'm no angel. I'm not going to pretend that I didn't have selfish reasons for making that deal either. If anyone had found out what I discovered and made a name for themselves with it, I wouldn't be happy. But one of the reasons I traded my soul in the first place is I considered the advancement of society as a whole more important than one soul. How would I be able to live with selling out the people of Inkwell, especially with the kindness you've all shown me today? And I'd be triple the fool I appear to be if I made another deal with him. He'd have no reason to anyway. He already owns my soul. But you might be right. My reputation as a psychic is fairly dismal. If I say they'll fail, it seems more likely that they'll succeed, doesn't it? You're no monster either. And I must confess, I'm no innocent. I have ulterior motivations for visiting. Shame, Sir Kettle. I never expected such underhanded tactics from you. I don't suppose you found anything useful in those books. 
seedlings, potential, spells I would have to build on top of other spells. It would take time and an experienced hand, of which I likely have neither. I see. But now you know your situation is not entirely hopeless. My door is always open, if you rather not be alone. Thank you, but it'd be better if I stayed out here tonight. Starlight is a powerful thing, you know. Island ever heard the word subtle? Sorry, Miss Berg, but this is very important. Please come to Harmony Park as soon as you can. It couldn't be. Well, free the devil's debt. And that fiend won't bother us again. So the brats actually pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, no thanks you and your horoscopes. Hey, I'm still fairly new at this. You did get to keep some of your power then. With the conditions I was given in order to use True Sight, I'm not sure I'll try it again. But I did keep the abilities I learned on my own. Look! A meteorologist being able to control the weather. Can you imagine? Hey, wait. I'm not even saying the weather around here is boring. Hmm, yeah. You haven't been known to use your magic responsibly. What are you going to do about it, Muggs? Put him up. <laughs> okay, okay, truce. I don't know what I'm going to do with my power, but it should be an interesting lifetime figuring it out. I mean, now that you've given that back to me. <laughs> Thank you. Don't be strangers, okay? I'll be up at the observatory every day. I've always been partial to astrology. Ugh, can't say astrology. <laughs> oh. You made a worse one flying back. Ah! Oh my god, I snapped my toenail. Oh my god. <laughs> I was always told there wasn't a practical need for astronomers on the islands, and I didn't want to leave Inkwell. They did wind up building an observatory here, but I studied meteorology and was finished with school by that time. I landed a job writing the weather reports for the Inkwell. Ugh. I hate it when I stutter. This this is why... Ah, try again. I was always told there wasn't a practical need for astronomers on the islands, and I didn't want to leave Inkwell. They did wind up building an observatory here, but I studied meteorology and was finished with school by that time. I landed a job writing the weather reports for the Inquisitor. I was also occasionally hired to teach science lessons, though not many. It was so... tedious. Do you ever notice how Inkwell's... N uh, that, not how. God damn it. I thought about trying to destroy my contract or unbind my soul from it. But my research indicated that only the person who owned my dead could do that. As long as it was in my possession, though, the devil couldn't use it to retrieve my soul. I don't feel like he had fulfilled his end of the deal, so I wasn't about to give my soul over without, like, stuttering. Like I said before, I never learn. I really read these before I start reading them while I'm recording. Again. You're going to turn me in. What makes you think I'd help you? Wrong emphasis. For goodness sake. What are you going to do about it, Muggs? Put him up. <laughs> okay, okay. Truce. I don't... I don't know how I'm going to be able to get through this without knocking my phone. I'm more of a bird than you, you wingless mutt. But <laughs> didn't I tell you two brats not to trust anyone that not <laughs> northeast accents coming out? <laughs> too bad we're all headed for eternal servitude with the devil. I went too high pitched there. I'm turning into Calamaria. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh. 
I honestly can't laugh unless I'm doing it super duper loud. Sir Kettle brought these for me. I can't rely on my true sight right now. Doc said not to channel magic. Sir Kettle said that he's... <laughs> Mess it up again. I'm a quality voice actor right here. Sir Kettle brought these for me. I can't rely on my true sight right now. Doc said not to channel magic. Sir Kettle said he's seen what happened to me before. Stopped again. Read things. Read things, Piper, read things. I've knocked my phone. That's why I've done I knocked my phone. I haven't, I haven't not slept enough. <laughs> Let's get something straight here. I'm no angel. I'm not going to pretend that I didn't have selfish reasons for making that deal either. If anyone has found out what I discovered and made a name for themselves with it, I wouldn't be happy. But one of the reasons I traded my soul in the first place is I considered the advancement of society as a whole more important than one soul. How would I be able to live with selling out the people of Inkwell, especially with the kindness you've all shown me today? And I'd be triple the fool I appear to be if I'd made another deal with him. He'd never... Right at the end. If I'd just kept going and got it right, I would have done it! Oh! But you might be right. My reputation as a psychic is fairly dismal. If they say, if I say, should I say, I do say, let's try that again. Seedlings, potential, spells I would have to build on top of other spells. It would take time and it exp- end end exp- Ah. Seedlings, potential, spells I would have to build on top of other spells. It would take time and it exp- Again! Again! Ugh. I'm so glad that voice crack didn't happen while I was doing well. It couldn't be. <clears throat> couldn't be! <laughs> hey, I'm still fairly new at this. Fairly new at this. I'm turning American. You wonder why people keep asking me if I'm American. Hey, I'm still fairly new at this. <laughs> Stuttering too much. You'd think I was sitting on top of a washing machine doing this. 